Hi guys, it's Miss J. Today I get to be in the gym. How exciting, I miss this place. I miss you guys. I wish you guys could be here with me. Anyways, I don't know if you have ever wanted to learn how to bowl in your own home, but now you can, okay? So the items that you're gonna need for this are you can either, I'm using pieces of paper, so you can use pieces of paper folded in half like that, um, if you have cardstock, that will definitely be easier, but regular pieces of paper work, I've done that. Um, you can use um, uh, plastic water bottles, empty plastic water bottles as your bowling pins. If you have like fake bowling pins, that works fantastic. You can do that if you have plastic bowling pins. Um, even like pencil, unsharpened pencils, if you stand them up on their eraser, that would work. Um, yeah, there's a variety of things that you can use. Pretty much anything that can stand up and maybe has a little bit of weight um, to hold itself up. Um, and then you just need either a ball or you can even bowl with your feet and you can use a rolled up pair of socks. Um, I'm gonna be using this dodgeball. Um, it's definitely a lot easier than the styrofoam ball that I've been using at home. But um, depending on what type of item you have, that might make it that you might need to stand a little bit closer than I'm standing, okay? So depending on what item. So if you're using a basketball, a volleyball, or soccer ball, or something like a heavier, slightly heavier ball like this, then you can stand a little bit farther away and pretend like you're actually bowling, which is fantastic, and learn the actual bowling skills. Now, I know our fingers won't be in the same place, but it'll be similar, okay? So, and then you need six pins, okay? So we're gonna set this up. Um, like a triangle, okay? So, you have one in the front, and it's easier if you have the folded paper towards you because then it can knock over more pins. And then you have two right behind that, and then you have a third, so it looks like a triangle. I'll show a picture on this later for you to be able to see too. Um, I think it'll be the cover of this video, okay? And then if you can, make a line or have a line in your house that you can bowl on so that you know how to bowl straight. Okay, so I've got this line in the gym that I can use to bowl on. And so I can stand and I know how I need to bowl it straight, okay? And when I bowl, I wanna curl the ball into my arms, okay? So I'm going to curl the ball like this into my arm, okay? And then I'm gonna take a step forward with the opposite foot. So since I'm using my right hand, I'm gonna step with my left foot, okay? So I'm gonna step and then I'm gonna release and I want my hand to follow through in the direction I want to go, okay? And in bowling, you want your thumb to face the dire direction you want to go, okay? All right, so let's see how I can do, okay? So I'm gonna bowl. Oh, I got a couple. I got four out of the six, nice. And so I can bowl twice, and then if I knock all of them down, then I get a spare, okay? And if I knock it down all on the first try, then I get a strike, okay? So see how good you can do. And then um, how we do it in real bowling is that we have 10 frames. So 10 times that you can bowl. Um, and technically you can have about 24 try or 23 tries um, to bowl all of this um, uh, together, possibly if you um, don't get any strikes. But so try to bowl 10 times and see if you can knock down how, well, see how many pins you can knock down in 10 whole tries. And remember, you can bowl up to two times each try, okay? So if you don't knock down all of them, then you get another try, okay? But if you knock them all down, then that counts as a whole round, okay? So see how many you can knock down, and I'll, I'll try to see if you guys can beat me, and I'll write down my score in the chat below, in the comments below, and in the description below, okay? All right, have a great day, guys. See ya.